Hello guys, welcome back to our channel. The channel where we bring you exclusive content and tips on how to obtain full scholarships to study here in China. So today we are going to dive into a topic that is documents that you require for you to apply here in China. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button and click the like button just to get more content and tips just for you. So today's video is going to be divided into two segments. Our first segment is going to focus on language students and bachelor students. And our second segment is going to focus on master students. So before we continue, remember to subscribe and click the like button for more content and videos just for you. Okay, so let's get right into it. So for our first segment, for language and bachelor students, there is not much of a difference when it comes to the documents that are required for you to use to apply. So, the first document that you need to provide is your passport. Ensure that you send a clear and scanned first page copy of your passport. The second document that is required are your medicals. Now, for your medicals, we are going to send you a form that you are supposed to fill in and medical checkups are valid for six months. So just make sure that it is within the six month period. The third document that is required is your academic transcript. Ensure that you send a clear copy of your academic transcript. The fourth document that is required is your high school graduate certificate. This is also very important in your application journey. And another document that is required is the non-criminal record. These are non-negotiable and essential documents that are required here in China. You can have them certified and have them done at your local police stations back in your home country. Another document that is required is the bank statement. Your bank statement has to have at least a minimum of about 3,000 United States dollars. And in case you do not have that sum of money, you can use one of your parents, your friends, or your guidance. And the last thing that is required on our list is a self-introductory video that has to be done in English and even better in Chinese. So for every document that I've mentioned, for those that don't have them available in English, it is important that you have them translated and certified 